All right, uh, let's determine some logical equivalents. I feel like that should be a C-E. Ah, logical equivalents of English statement. So when we talk about statements being logically equivalent, what does that mean? Well, logically equivalent is when two statements have the same truth value. Can't read that over there. So if I have two statements and they mean the exact same thing, we would call them logically equivalent. Okay, so what are we going to do with this? Let's use a truth table, because why not, to determine which of the following statements, if any, are equivalent to the statement, I like to eat meat, so I am, am an omnivore. Okay, so we're going to look at four statements. I don't like to eat meat, and so I'm not an omnivore. I'm not an omnivore, so I don't eat meat. I, even though I don't like to eat meat, I am an omnivore, or I'm not an omnivore, but I do like to eat meat. So do any of these statements have a logical equivalence to I like to eat meat, so I am an omnivore? All right, so first things first, let's separate our initial piece into two statements. So we will call X, I like to eat meat. We will call Y, I am an omnivore. So, we're now going to rewrite each of the following statements in symbol. Okay, so our initial piece, let me get some piece here. I like to eat meat, so I am an omnivore. I should have picked better. That looks like a tongue twister. All right, so I like to eat meat, and I'm an omnivore, right? That's our initial piece. So, what do the rest of these look like? So in number one, I don't like to eat meat. So that's a negation of X. So I'm not an omnivore. And I'm ooh, not an omnivore. So we're looking at not X and not Y. In number two, I'm not an omnivore, so I don't like meat. So now we're looking at negation of Y and negation of X. It's just flipped around. Number three, even though I don't like to eat Oh, that says more. Well, I do like to eat more. Who are we trying to get? Uh, that should say meat. Okay, so even though I don't like to eat meat, I am an omnivore. So we're looking at not eating meat. So negation of X and Y. Because I am an omnivore. So we're keeping Y as is. And then number four, I am not an omnivore. So we're looking at not Y, but I do like to eat meat. So not y and x. And we're trying to see if any of these are the same as x and y. All right, so let's go to our truth table. And this is what we're going to look at. So I filled this out in our truth table. We have x, y, the negation of x, the negation of y. And then, um, oh, I missed x and y. Son of a biscuit. Um, okay, pause. Magically, our truth table has just added a column because we need that X and Y column because that's what we're comparing to. We need to make sure that we have what we're looking for, right? To be logically equivalent, we need the exact same truth values. Okay, so let's start first with our X and Y. So X would be true, true, false, false. We only have four lines because we only have two values, right? So two squared is four, so four lines. So Y would be true, false, true, false. The negation of those, so the negation of X would simply be false, false, true, true. While the negation of Y would be false, true, false, true, right? Just the opposites of those. Okay, so let's now start with X and Y. Now recall, for this to be true, an and statement, both items must be true. So if I'm looking at X and Y, I'm looking at these two columns. True, true would give me a true. True, false is false. False, true is false. And false, false is false. So this is the line we are comparing to. For any of these other four to be equivalent, they also need to follow the pattern true, false, false, false. All right, so let's look at negative X and, excuse me, not like the negation of X and the negation of Y. So now we are looking at these two columns. So false, false is false. We already know this one doesn't work. So this one is false, 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 true. That is not logically equivalent. Let's look at negative uh, the negation of y and the negation of x. And if you're thinking, well, Becky, we just did that. 
Uh, yeah, kind of we did. We're just looking at it the other direction. So false, 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 true. Again, not logically equivalent. So now we're getting to the other pieces. So now let's look at the negation of x, so this column, and y, so these two. So false, true, false, 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 true, true, false, true. So because it starts with a false, it automatically doesn't work. All right, and the last one, we are looking at the negation of y and x. So if you look at the very first one, true, false, true, true, false, 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 true. That is also. So the answer is none of these are uh, logically equivalent. The only thing that we can say is that these two are logically equivalent because they match, but none of them match our initial piece. So when we're looking at this, um, I don't like to eat meat and I'm not an omnivore and I'm not an omnivore, so I don't like to eat meat. Those are logically equivalent, but nothing matches our original of I like to eat meat, so I am an omnivore. Wah, wah, wah.